Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? My name is Tay, and welcome back to my channel, Inspire Me, where I talk about current or relatable topics, all from a godly perspective, and today's topic is called, maybe because you haven't put a move on it yet. <laughs> I'm going to have to make sure I, get, I didn't get it tongue tied. Now, this is what God put in my spirit. It got a little teasy bit to do with, you know, what I was telling you over the past few days about, you know, my pet and then the promise. So just a teasy bit of that as well. So if you remember when I explained in I think the process, that video, I pretty much said, you know, when I currently lived in another county previously, because I didn't try to start looking for assistance and help up until I got disabled. So before then, I really wasn't really looking into it like that. But when I became disabled, that's when I was like really like looking for that help. So that was um April of 2015. So y'all know um if you watch my channel, I. So if y'all watch my channel, you know I relocated at the end of 2019. So that was four and a half long years that I tried to get assistance, that I tried to like get help with my living situation and different things like that. And I, um, people, a lot of people told me like it'll be easy for you because, of course, you got kids, but also because you're disabled. So that that will put you like on the top of the list. Lo and behold, I didn't get help. I didn't get on the list. I didn't. <laughs> nothing was working out for me so i you know i relocated and i've been here for about two and a half years and um since i pretty much relocated i got help within those two and a half years so if you look at it when i was in the previous county four and a half years compared to two and a half years you see how quickly i got help like i told you when i was in the previous county i didn't get help at all i couldn't even get any type of help or anything but when i moved to you know my lo location now i got help with those two and a half years and it probably could have been sooner now what that pretty much brought me to mind of uh, also too when i was telling you how i tried so many places and different things in the other county and it just wasn't working out for me and that's because that's not the place that god had me like god put on my heart to tell other people too maybe it's not working out for you of course of course it could be because it's not the right time yet but however that's not the issue with a lot of people like it's your timing god is giving you the green light however it's not working out for you because either you're attached to the wrong people or person or either you have not put a move on it now when i say put a move on it that means being obedient to god that that could be an actual location like moving to another city to another county or to another state and sometimes um, you, you might look at it like, okay, I'm connected to this and that person. I can't leave because this and that will go on. That's the same mindset I had previously when I was in that kind of like, you know, I can't leave because, you know, my kid's here and it's not going to really work out, like being away, different things like that. But it's like I had to think about what well, I really was thinking. It's like God had to think for me because even though in the back of my mind, I was thinking like, okay, my kid's here and a lot of, and seeing a lot of toxicity, like, you, you trying to have your family together, but they still seeing this toxicity. you pretty much scared to move because of what again? And then also, too, got realized, even though I did move, you know, I'm, there, I'm, still, I'm facing like a little, but that's not permanent. And it's just my growing process and my testimony. But can you imagine if I actually would have stayed in that environment, in that situation? I remember when I had my own place, that was four and a half years ago, and I remember a lot of times where I used to just go outside and just sit down and cry to God, saying, God, like, God, I can't take this, like, I know it's something else better for me, um, I, I just know you got something else for me, and then I just thought about it <laughs> the other day, I thought about, because I think I seen somebody, um, a status or something that said, where do you see yourself, like, if you look back five years ago, like, are you in the same place you was five years ago? It was something like that. So then I thought about five years ago, and I thought about I was in that situation. How I used to go on the porch and cry to God and say, God, please get me out of this. And it got to be something else better. And now to look at what I went through, and now I'm in my own home. You feel me? So it's like, wow, five years ago, I, I didn't see this. Like, I was crying out to you and look at it. So what I'm trying to tell you and what God put in my spirit is, are you in that exact same situation 
that you want to get out of, that you want to excel, that you want God to bless you, but you're in a place that God no longer wants you to be at. You can't look at it and say, oh, if I leave, you know, this might go on or this might happen. I got so many connections. I got this and that. That's why a lot of people stay in toxic relationships because they look at it like, okay, I, I can't get a divorce because um, this and that might go on or I can't leave because we have kids together or I can't do this and that because so much stuff in my name and in, the, in their name. And I even seen um, somebody got a, a business together, that's what I'm going to say, and they're no longer together. However, they're pretty much still doing certain stuff together because I guess for business and different things, that might work for a little bit, but if you keep doing it, it's not going to work. That's the same thing I tried to do before I move. Like, okay, even though we're not together, I'm still going to, like, you know, stay with in that place with them and, you know, for our kids. And <laughs> a, a girl was lonely and bored and miserable. I was not getting nothing accomplished. Don't be that person to do things just because it might feel good to the flesh. But is it good to your spirit? Did God tell you to do it? Did God tell you to put a move on it? God could be telling you, you like you want your, you want your own place. You want God to bless you, but still in that same state. You're still in that same city. And like I said, it's not to say because maybe God not be calling you to another state because I'm still in the same state, but I'm in another county. So maybe God be calling to another county, or it could be another city. It could be right down the street. But are you in the place that God called you to be in? And of course, it might make you feel uncomfortable, but in order for you to grow, you got to be uncomfortable. I had to learn it myself, like, in order for me to grow, you got to be uncomfortable. A lot of things that I do, even starting the channels, like, girl, <laughs> uncomfortable alert. <laughs> However, if you want to grow, if you want to be blessed, if you want to excel and to step outside the box and do things that God called you to do and get blessed in an extraordinary way, you have to do things that's uncomfortable to your flesh. You gotta put a move on it. It could be a literal place, but just put a move on it. It's being obedient to God. You might face like some type of like backlash from someone else, or you know, like I said, it might be uncomfortable to the flesh for a minute. Because I, when I originally first moved, I was very uncomfortable, like being, you know, being with your kids. 24-7 and then pretty much see your kids every other month or something like that every month so imagine how I pretty much had to transition at times I was like crying and now if you look at it back now when I look back at it now it's like wow I'm so much stronger like stuff that used to bother me it don't bother me no more <laughs> and I'm so much stronger and it just pretty much give me the endurance and the patience and the perseverance to, you know, do what I got to do. So, I'll tell you the exact same thing. Put a move on it. Do what God called you to do. Step out the box. Put a move on it. So, yeah. That's what God put on my spirit. I don't know who this message is for. But you need to be obedient to God. And do what called you, God called you to do. If you want to excel. If you want different things to happen for you. You need to do what God called you to do. And like I said, it don't have to be a literal place. You know, you want your own place. It could be anything that God called you to. You want your own business. You want anything that God called you to. Put a move on that. So that's pretty much all I had to say regarding it, y'all. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel, y'all. God bless you.